you know, it was great, um, especially uh, with the pandemic going on. It's been so long since uh, I've played, since any of us have really played a, an actual basketball game. So um, just getting out there and playing a game, regardless of the level, felt great. But, um, you know, I've had goals of playing professional my whole life. So uh, to play my first couple professional games and, you know, essentially reach that goal uh, felt great. Um, and then now I just got to keep working to improve um, as the season goes on. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some differences. Um, you know, it's a lot more physical of a game. Uh, you know, the speed, it's a lot faster of a game. But, uh, you know, I think the, uh, the veterans coming back on the team, the older guys, they've done a really good job of helping me adjust, um, you know, continuing to help me get better and, like I said, adjust to the differences. So, um, you know, as we keep moving forward, I'll continue to work at it, continue to improve, um, and, you know, continue to be more and more ready to play each and every game. You know, uh, I'm just taking, taking it all in, taking uh, the city in, taking this new team in, um, just kind of the, the culture uh, and just, you know, taking it all in as a new experience. i um, looking forward to continuing to explore and just, you know, be here um, around the great people, around everyone. Our goals go, you know, I think we, we just have, we have big goals going into this season. Um, and then we just kind of got to look to improve each and every day, whether it's practice, game, practice to practice, game to game, just continue to improve and play, play our best basketball as possible. You know, I think anything is possible, although I don't get uh, caught up in numbers. Um, you know, whether I'm scoring 30 points a game or zero points a game, I'm just looking to do what I can to help our team win. Probably say I definitely feel most comfortable at forward. Um, in college, we played a little, uh, a smaller lineup, so I was forced to uh, play center. I was looking uh, for a team to play on uh, professionally and whatever. Uh, UCAM Mercia. Uh, was talking to me and you know I just like how coach um, we like to get up and down the court he he likes shooters obviously I'm a I'm a shooter um, so he'll run plays to get shooters open um, they really play as a team you know pass the ball look for the look for the good shot um, and I think we just have a bunch of pieces we got inside players shooters um, ball handlers defenders so I think we're a complete team and just the way coach runs his team his offense his defense and just the whole organization um, was a great fit for me but I think uh, I do a really good job and help uh, spread the floor so they can't uh, like sag in the lane and help I watch a lot of NBA and um, you know growing up I watched uh, like a Kyle Korver um, uh, how he just kind of spreads the floor uh, comes off screen spots up shoots the ball really well um, so I kind of, kind of my whole life have been trying to model my game after him and uh, other shoot, great shooters in the NBA. And then as far as uh, 34 goes, um, obviously if you see my highlights from Central Michigan, I was 14, but um, my teammate Peter Jock had that. So uh, my second, second favorite number um, all the way back when I was young, I was 34. So I just decided to go back to that number and continue to wear that.